Hi guys, I recently picked up the JEC L2R2 grip from Amazon Japan and thought the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo would be a perfect way to test it out and review it. I also have the Hari Remote Play Grip, which by the way is brilliant. So when I saw the JEC grip, I was curious how it would stack up against it. The main difference between the Hari grip and the JEC one is that the Hari one focuses on the back touchpad. It has triggers for L2R2 and L3R3. The JEC grip has triggers for the back of the Vita for L2 and R2, but not L3R3. Instead, it has two extra shoulder buttons for L2 and R2. This is useful for games that use the front touchscreen of the Vita for remote play. This is definitely a missing piece of the Hori remote play grip, so I was very interested to use the JEC grip for remote play. Slotting the Vita in is easy. You lift the flap at the top, put the Vita in and shut it. Now, the flap is longer than the flap for the Hori Remote Play Grip since it has two extra shoulder buttons, but it also feels a bit stiff. I did worry about it being easy to break, so I've been trying not to apply too much pressure. Given the touchscreen is being tapped when you hit the shoulder buttons, the grip does a good job of minimizing the screen space it takes up. It just touches the top corner of the screen. You still have to touch the bottom of the touchscreen for L3 and R3, which isn't ideal, but that's more the fault of how Sony designed the Vita to work with remote play. At the top of the grip, you can't touch the on and off switch or volume buttons directly. It has buttons on the grip that are very stiff, and I found I had to push them very hard to get it to actually register on the button presses. I would rather have access to press the actual buttons directly, but it's the nature of the design that those buttons end up getting covered. It's just these buttons on the grip itself don't feel good to use and don't do their job very well. Now, the most important aspect is the two shoulder buttons. The whole selling point is that you have those shoulder buttons instead of needing to tap the touchscreen. They feel pretty loose, and a couple of times when I pressed them, the press didn't actually register. It's also in an awkward position, because you have R2 and L2 on shoulder buttons in front of the L1 and R1 on the Vita. Again, this is a design fault on Sony's part. The grip is trying to solve a problem Sony created, and it's probably the best solution, but it's just not a great solution. The R2 and L2 triggers on the back touchpad, they were great. No complaints there. In terms of holding the grip, it feels okay. Again, it's not as good as the Hori grip. The handholds are flat on the bottom, not smooth and rounded like the PS4 controller or the Hori grip. It feels like I'm holding a handle, and after playing for an extended amount of time, my hand did feel some strain. It also feels cheaper and less sturdy than the Hori grip. My preference would be that all games use the back touchpad and I can use the Hori grip. It's the better of the two, and I feel like the triggers have better weight to them and feel good to press whereas the additional shoulder buttons on the JEC grip don't feel as comfortable, and you need to press them quite hard to get a register sometimes. The other thing to consider here is do you really need this grip at all? The touchscreen is easy to reach with your fingers when playing a Vita. It's true that that's not great either. For some games it would be fine, but I think for something like The Last of Us, I played that using the touchscreen, and it was rubbish because you needed to use it for aiming and shooting, and I find you need good triggers for that. This grip would help with that, but given the L2 and R2 are not great feeling buttons, you'd have a better experience playing on a phone or tablet with your DualShock 4. So overall, do I recommend this? The Hori Remote Play Grip is better in every way. If you can pick that up for a reasonable price, get that. This does add the shoulder buttons to the front touchscreen, but those buttons didn't feel great to use, and as a grip it caused me some cramping over a long session. If you can't find the Hori Remote Play Grip, then I guess you could pick this up as an alternative, but it's just a shame that the Hori aren't making that one anymore. So guys, have you picked up the JEC Grip or the Hori Grip? And what did you think of it? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.